Hello everyone, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk just briefly about varnishing paintings. To varnish or not to varnish, that is today's question. Uh, I get this question as much as any other question I get. It's always, do you varnish your paintings? Uh, the, simple the simple answer to that is no. Uh, when I first began doing paintings, acrylic paintings on canvas, I varnished everything. Uh, you know, I tried uh, satin varnish, I tried matte varnish, I tried glossy varnish, uh, and I never was happy with the look and the feel of any of those finishes. Uh, and I know there's people out there that completely and totally disagree with me. Just like with everything else I say, there's a lot of naysayers out there. Uh, people say, you have to varnish your paintings. Well, I don't have to do anything. The reason I don't do it is I don't like the look of the finish. Um, it makes the entire painting homogeneous in its finish. Some people like that. It works well with some people's paintings. For me, I choose something different. I like a little contrast in the finish on my painting. So what I do is, generally speaking, with the darker values in the painting, uh, a lot of the darker value colors, when you get them out of the jar, or more matte in finish. I like them to be glossy. I like those dark, rich values to be glossy. So after I finish the painting, I take those areas, typically near or at the center of interest. I use a gloss gel medium that I apply over top of a dry painting to make those areas glossier. It makes the dark values richer it draws attention to the center of interest. Keep in mind, these areas of dark value, generally speaking, are very thick. I'll put those on in a really, really thick with lots of paint so they stand out visually from the rest of the painting. I like the contrast of the glossy, dark values at the center of interest, the rest of the painting being more matte finish. Okay, It's completely a personal decision. It's not something that I came upon initially when I began these paintings. It, it just This idea evolved uh, after some amount of time, and I've been doing this probably for about two years, two or three years. I like that look better. I like that finish better, uh, rather than the whole thing being one uh, uh, sheen, I guess you'd call it, of varnish. Now, people say, well, you know, it's not protected. Well, it's light fast. It doesn't necessarily need protection. Um, I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of paintings out there that don't have any varnish on them, uh, that get direct sunlight all the time and there's no problem. If you feel better, more comfortable varnishing your paintings, then do it, right? I'm just saying, you don't have to do it. You can do it, you don't have to do it. I don't do it, it's a personal choice. You have to decide how you want to do it. You have to decide if that finish is right for you or if you prefer another finish. Now, I'm speaking more about acrylic painting than I am an oil painting. I don't know all the ins and outs of oil painting or how you're supposed to finish those or anything. I don't worry about that because I'm not an oil painter. If you're an oil painter, you should know all that stuff. Right? I'm talking basically about acrylic paintings. Okay. So investigate. The brands that are out there in varnish, investigate the levels of sheen that are available to you. Experiment with them. See what you like. See what you don't like. Uh, that's what I did. That's the reason I know I don't like it. And I'll give you one other tip. Whatever finish you decide to put on there, photograph your painting before you put the finish on it. Particularly if you use gloss finish. Because if you use that, that's going to be a real challenge to photograph it without getting some highlights in there. So be careful out there, right? Photograph it before you put the finish on it. And I photograph mine before I put any kind of uh, glossy finish in my dark values. You should do the same. All right. Hope this helps you. Get out there and experiment. See what works for you. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.